One step that did likely make a big difference in Damar Hamlin's condition so far is having a level one trauma center within minutes of Paycor Stadium. Medical reporter Liz Bonas spoke with some of the team earlier this year and has insight into their life saving care. Hey there, everybody. UC Health does have what's called a level one trauma team, and that means they are trained to respond to emergency situations from mass casualties to what happened in the last 24 hours when Hamlin went down on the field. As soon as the on-site team got a heartbeat for DeMar Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills reported he was transported to the UC Health team. But as soon as we get sort of a, a even wind that something is going on in our community, we sort of elevate that to an activation of a code yellow, which means that we're starting to get resources deployed to assess sort of how much we need um, for the situation. The UC trauma team keeping silent right now on Hamlin's care, but we did talk to them and shoot this video earlier this summer. His family thanking them today, along with first responders and Bengals coach Zach Taylor. For the kind of events unfolding so far, the UC team is always ready. This is what we've, we've really trained for. This is why we do what we do. And as Hamlin hangs in this delicate balance we call life, we are reminded that having a trauma center with specialty surgeries, immediate diagnostic abilities, and highly trained crisis staff is one more step in critical intervention, not always available just minutes away from a stadium where tragedy unfolds. Any time there is a devastating event that would happen in our community, as our region's level one trauma center, we are the center that uh, needs to respond um, and rise to the needs of the community. Now, in addition to the trauma team care, bystander CPR and AEDs make a difference. We talked to a man at last night's game who also had a cardiac arrest and survived. We'll have more on his story tonight at 6. Guys?